But today I am 13 weeks pregnant and that means I am in my second trimester. So I've been keeping count since, like, keeping count, keeping track since I ever even became pregnant of my first trimester symptoms. So everything that I've gone through and sometimes I even wrote down like what week they've happened and so, you know, I can also help out other people that are going through the situation and I'll be able to look back at this video um, later on in life. Okay, so the first thing I have is always peeing. This was from the start and until now. I'm the type of person that usually, you know, sleeps through the night and that doesn't happen anymore. Um, I can get up to maybe even two to three times a night to pee. Um, sometimes are better, um, you know, only one time a night. But even that's a big deal, and I always pee right before I go to bed, just to help that, but like, it clearly doesn't help. And I try not to drink a lot of water before I go to bed, clearly doesn't help, but... So that's the first thing. The second thing I have is morning sickness, only when I actually wake up early. Um, so that's really weird, and I'm actually very, like, I'm happy that my morning sickness isn't bad at all, and hopefully, like... Cross my fingers, like pray to God that it doesn't like switch up on me. But my morning sickness is not bad at all. Um, again, it's only if I wake up early, which is so weird. Because if I wake up like after 10 or after 9, it's perfectly fine. But before that, it's like I feel so sick in the morning. But another thing that I can just add quickly is that um, maybe for about, I'll say a month, just over a month now, um, I've been waking up at 9 o'clock every day, guys. Like, I don't know what's happening, but it's just happening. Um, my body wakes me up at 9 o'clock. And even if I have to, like, um, get up at 10.30, my body's waking me up at 9. But sometimes I'll be able to, like, fall back asleep. Like, I'll look at the time, it's like 9, and I'm like, oh, okay. I fall back asleep. Sometimes, like this morning, I can't fall back asleep. Um... And it's weird, like even this morning I woke up, like I jumped out of my sleep, I was like, what time is it? It feels like it's like 12 o'clock. And it was 9 o'clock on the dot. And every time I look at the time, it's like 9.02, 9.05. The latest is like 9.15, 9.13. I'm like, why 9 o'clock? Like, is this because like the baby's going to wake me up at 9 o'clock? Which is actually blessed to be honest. If my baby can wake me up at 9 o'clock and sleep through the night, that'd be great. But I don't see that happening. Uh, the next thing I have is slight period like cramping um, that doesn't happen to me anymore that was just really at the beginning uh, the, first, the first few weeks because I did find out two to three weeks um, when I was only two to three weeks and that was actually one of the things that made me want to take a test if you guys haven't seen that video it'll be linked down below um, so yeah that doesn't happen anymore but it did for maybe until like about six weeks So next thing I have is facial hair. Oh my god. So Hector's like, Hector's my little cameraman. He's laughing at me right now because he always makes fun of me. And you know, I use this thing. Where, oh, even before I got pregnant, maybe I'll even make a video about this if you guys want me to. But I have a few of these eyebrow razors. So I used to only use them for my eyebrows. And then you know, a lot of people like Carly Bible and a lot of other people showed using them for like your cheeks and your um your mustache and like under your chin and mine was never bad it was just like a few like peach fuzzes a little mustache and i used to have like a few a few little dots of like darker hairs on the side no problem at all and but ever since i got pregnant and especially now that i'm in starting my second trimester today it's terrible guys i literally have to like okay it's not everywhere, don't get me wrong, but the spots that it is, it's just my side part. It's literally right here. I'll have thick, dark hairs. And it'll only be like three of them on this side and like two of them on this side and like that's it. But they come 
so quickly i don't understand and i've even tried plucking them they just come like back so quick so i find that i have to shave just those those little, little like three hairs every other day which is ridiculous but other than that with the hair on my body like my leg hairs have been normal my armpit hairs have been normal my hair on the head on my head has been like really like healthy lately which is really good so okay so the next thing i have is having trouble taking my prenatal um so i wrote that um by almost eight weeks it's gotten worse and that i gag every time i take them so i was taking materna um that's the, the prenatal that all doctors recommend pregnant women to take and i've never been able to take pills my whole life even like a small little advil i just can't do it so with the materna i would cut it in half and even those halves i would just gag and i would just gag and um yeah it was just bad like a few times i threw up right after taking it because of gagging and it's like what was the point of taking it if i'm gonna throw it up again but i asked the, the doctor at this time i didn't have um uh, like a baby doctor yet at the hospital i just was like going to a walk-in and i asked him if i can switch to the first response gummies i saw a commercial about it and i was like gummies hello like that's awesome and he looked at me like i was crazy and he's like i don't know what you're talking about and he said no continue taking the materna and he was really rude about it he was like oh what's bigger a bite of a burger or a bite of um or swallowing the pill and i'm like no duh the burger but when you're chewing it turns into like a liquid and you're pretty much swallowing like a liquid burger if that makes any sense and then you're swallowing a hard pill like this it's not the same i don't know if he was calling me fat or something i don't care like it's whatever but you're a jerk um so then when i finally got my doctor i don't remember what week yeah i didn't write down what week it was but when i finally got my proper doctor i asked her about it and she said go ahead then i went to the store and there was no more of the first response but i started the jamieson um chewables not the gummies and it's apple and cranberry and i've been taking them for a few weeks now and they're delicious and i take them every morning with no problem so another problem that i had with the materna was that again this is me tila but the problem i had with materna was that it was making me not eat at all and the reason why is because i was it was making me very very constipated and so i was lucky if i was going to the washroom once a week and that is terrible so and again this doctor wouldn't even let me like switch it until i got my doctor and then my doctor also recommended me to start taking restorelax just mix it into my water it has no taste and it helps me use the washroom and it's been helping a lot um i'm slowly gaining my my appetite back before it was very 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 bad an example i got a six inch sub from subway and i took maybe like three bites and i was full and people are like oh like you have to eat like the eating's not for you it's for the baby and like i get it and people don't understand this until they go through it and i've googled it and i've seen like a lot of conversations of other moms that have gone through the same thing and i feel like we're the only ones that actually understand how this feels like because like imagine going to like mandarin or all can eat buffet and you over overeat it a lot of people overeat when they go to all you can eat buffet hey not judging i do it too but then you go home and you feel sick and you want to like throw up or whatever that's how I felt after three bites of a Subway sandwich. So, that's a problem. Um. Yeah, his shoe left with him. So, the another, another thing that I wrote was gagging when I brush my teeth some, morning, some mornings. That doesn't happen anymore, really. Um... It kind of happened today, actually, but not like gagging. It was kind of just like, like, ooh, I feel nauseous. Well, explain that. Tell them, tell them how it's not even like, because they're going to be like, you're brushing your <laughs> the back of your throat. <laughs> it's the toothpaste flavor that you don't like. I don't even think it's the toothpaste. It's the I don't texture. Know, I don't know what it is, guys. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, I'm not putting my toothbrush all the way back, I promise. And I, again, it's not like every day. Like, it's maybe, at the beginning, it was happening like, 
twice a week. Now, like, I don't remember the last time it happened, and then it happened this morning. So I was like, okay, cool, okay. But, yeah, it doesn't really happen anymore. I guess I just have, like, a very, very sensitive gay reflex, I guess. I'm not sure. So the next thing I wrote was by seven weeks, I had very, very, very dry skin. And, like, I remember writing that down on my note. And now that I think about it, I wish my skin was like that because... My skin is so bad right now, guys. Like, it's so dry. Right after my shower, I lotion my whole entire body. And sometimes I use, like, the coconut butter. Um, not coconut butter. Uh, the cocoa butter. Um, it doesn't help. By, like, a few hours later, my skin feels completely dry. My skin feels dry now. Like, last night, it was the worst because my skin feels so dry. And when I'm moving around, like, it kind of feels like my skin is stretching. And it's it's so bad. I hate it. And my skin just feels itchy. Well, oh, I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to start, like, getting itchy. But my skin is very, very, very dry. I don't know if it's just because it's winter. Um, my skin does get dry in the winter. But it's never where it's a problem. Like, I can go without, like, lotioning myself and I'll be fine. But, like, my lips have been terrible. The, with this lipstick, I had to put Vaseline first because it just wasn't happening. Like, this is a, a matte lipstick. I just couldn't wear matte over my dry lips. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, yeah, my skin, my face has been so dry. Like, everything about me is dry. So, I'm not sure. Like, this is kind of like an old wives tale, but they say that... If your skin is dry, it's a baby boy. So, let's see. <laughs> By week 10, I started having butt slash like hip cramps. It was really weird. Um, I feel like it kind of went away like just around last week. So, it only lasted about two weeks. Um, I think it was like when I was laying down. Uh, when I was going to bed, it usually happened. Or like during the night. It was mainly in my left butt cheek, but like, hey, so you have your butt cheek and then you have your back, right? But it was kind of like right here, like it was the top of the butt cheek, but then like it wasn't your hip or your back yet, if that makes any sense. So that's how it was, and it was just like really very, very painful. If I had to get up, I was limping in pain to go to use a washing, to go get a cup of water. And during the night, it would happen, and I would try to like move my body to like switch positions and I can't so I just stay there in my uncomfortable position until the cramp went away and then I can move so it was very oh it was terrible but I'm so happy that's gone now week 11 I realized um well I'm not sure if it's still like this because I'm scared to try it out but I can no longer eat honey garlic so that happened on week 11 I'm 30 weeks now um, we ordered some pizza and wings for the fight on um, one Saturday night and oh gosh guys like I was craving hot wings because I was like yes I need some hot wings in my life so I ate a slice of pizza again I don't really have that big of an appetite so I had one square slice of pizza I had two hot wings no three hot wings and then I was like oh yeah there's honey garlic I took a bite of the honey garlic and I was like I don't feel good it was so bad and then so I ate one more hot wing and then I was full and the hot wing didn't bother me like after that after that honey garlic one it didn't bother me so I was like I wonder if it's the honey garlic didn't really think too much about it I was like whatever um so that means now because like the honey garlic was mainly for me because like the rest of his family doesn't really eat honey garlic chicken so the next day when I wanted it for lunch Oh my gosh, I just grabbed like a plate of like five, five honey garlic wings and I got two hot wings. So I ate one of the hot wings and it was really good. And then I ate one of the honey garlic and I was like, whoa, this is, this is a bad reaction. I took one bite of my second honey garlic chicken wing and I literally threw up in my mouth and I had to run to the bathroom and throw up. And then I threw up everything, my prenatal because I took it before. Before I ate, I threw up everything. It was just all disgusting. I probably threw up the food I ate the night before and the night before that. It just kept going and going. So no more honey garlic for me, which kind of sucks. And then when I went to visit my mom, she was making like this new recipe in the slow cooker. It was some kind of like honey garlic like meat or whatever and with like veggies and stuff and it smelled so 
so good and I couldn't even try it. And another thing that I didn't put on my list but I would like to talk about is last week, um, during my 12th week, I didn't like cheese. Like cheese. Cheese was great. I mean I don't usually eat cheese by itself. Like I'll eat like a grilled cheese or like cheese pizza or like cheese on my taco or like cheese on my sandwich. Like cheese like on something, you know? So his mom made burgers and her homemade burgers are like delicious. This sounds like I just eat like crap all the time. But I don't, I promise. But his mom made burgers and I put cheese. And I realized that some of the bites I was just like, I had to like stop chewing and I was breathing. I was like, let's don't throw up at this table right now. And there was just one bite of my burger where it was like mainly like all cheese. Like, you know those kind of bites? It was mainly like all cheese. And I almost threw up. And I was like, no, 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 this is not happening. So I had to take the cheese off and I ate the rest of the burger and I was perfectly fine. So cheese messed me up. But then yesterday I was craving a grilled cheese sandwich. I had one. It had lots of cheese in it, and I was perfectly fine. So, I guess that was a one-time thing, and I hope this honey garlic chicken thing is a one-time thing, because I love honey garlic chicken wings. <laughs> so, I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's it for my first trimester um, symptoms. If you guys have any questions, or let me know like how your first trimester was compared to mine. Um, just let me know down below, and I would love to hear it and reply to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Sus Corner. Peace.